are back with us at the Treasure Valley View. You know who I'm very excited to introduce you to? Um, Mayor Jim Reynolds. He, we went and had a wonderful visit with him and I found out a whole bunch of information that I thought I would share with you, Treasure Valley. Thanks for coming on today. My pleasure, totally. I Totally? Totally. You're really hip. Oh, yes. Who knew that Eagle had a hip my kids, mayor? My kids use that word and I'm trying to trying to get a little closer to them over, <laughs> over the years because there's quite a distance between us. Right, well throw a, chronologically, you know, throw a, you know, a WTH at them and see what happens yeah. or a YOLO. Oh, that, that'll know, probably work. Know. What's what's the word I'm trying to think they use? Wicked. Wicked. Oh, wicked. wicked or ratchet. You're a ratchet. That's <laughs> I'm learning all of these things. Yeah, I have no I, Jim, I had means. no. Well, we'll figure it out together. Okay, yeah. We've got I've got teenagers. I'll I'll CC you in on all of my. I'd appreciate that. Your, <laughs> hey, okay. So while we were having conversation with you in your office, I found out a whole bunch of amazing things, and I was just hoping maybe you could share with everybody what you feel like the biggest assets that Eagle has to offer. Wow, that's a long list. I but know it's a lot. <laughs> we got a short time. If you look, if you just you know look down the river, I mean, it's uh, it's, it's it's such a stunning place, a stunningly beautiful place. You're right. To live, and it's and grown acts, a lot. It has grown a lot. We've grown out a little over twenty thousand uh, citizens, but uh, I think it's the access to things. We have access to entertainment. It's just right right next door. Everything is right there. But you know, the most the most spectacular thing I think is the attitude of the people. I agree with that. They uh, they have a can-do attitude. You know, but long before this this uh, recovery began, and I'm saying it's begun. Right. Uh, they were they were very much in favor, and they were excited to get going and do things, especially the business people. So I'm 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 just kind of dialing in on that and doing what we can with it to, to encourage it because they're the ones that make it all happen. Right. And you guys have done an amazing job. Now you came in, true or false? You came, you came in in the middle of somebody else's. I don't want to say rain because that's not right. <laughs> Let's right. not call it a rain. No. Well, there. Well, how do you call it? term? Term, right? Term's came good. In. Term's good. Okay, so yeah. you came in the middle of that, and there was even a little bit of a. Wow, I can't even believe I'm here right now. Well, it was this, this weird circumstance when they hadn't been able to agree on anything for months. Very much uh, like we are on the show. We do that all the time. <laughs> no doubt. Well, mm -hmm. it's probably a little more helpful here than there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was, uh, there were two of us that were on this list, and we got down to making presentations toward the end. And I love this story. And, and, uh, where, where love this story. And they asked us to make presentations, and, and I did, and um, gave them about five minutes on what my view for the city was. Right. The uh, Jeff Laughlin, who was the other guy who was there at the kind of still standing at the end, uh, started into his and turned to me after about a minute and said, "You know, I agree with everything he said. Furthermore, he's looking at the at the council. And he says he needs to be your mayor." Yes. <laughs> and stunned silence, of course, in the entire room, and it was just un unbelievable. We were just all kind of aghast. And then John Grasher said, uh, "Well, I nominate him to be mayor." And, and there everybody you said, it. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's, he's mayor. Well, I think stuff like <laughs> that like happens that. all the time. I nominated myself as a hero. I think you yeah. could do that too. Yeah, why, why, not? Not? why not? Why not? All right, so there's a couple of challenges that Eagle still really faces. Mm. And what would you say are maybe, you know, a couple of things that we should be or at least aware of? Well, I think the coming election in November, everyone, there's an apprehension that, oh, okay. that uh, the, you know, this, this spirit that may not continue. But I'm, I'm, up, I'm optimistic. I believe it will. Uh, I don't know how we you know we've, we've got a lot of. I don't want to get into a lot of issues, but we have a, a mountain of debt ahead of us. Mm -hmm. We have to, you know, whoever walks into that, I can't imagine who would want to, but whoever is elected and walks into that uh, is going to have their hands full. So I think it's, 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 our challenge is to just keep the momentum going, okay, and, and and try to attract businesses that are going to not only fit with the with Eagle and the, and who we are. Uh, and I don't mean that in a, in a sense of, uh, you know, we're, we're any better than anybody else, but we're kind of unique. We really are. I agree with that. And, and with that uniqueness, uh, you know, not every industry would, would do well there. So we're looking at companies, maybe in the medical field, okay. who, who would enhance uh, what we have in the, in the whole valley, really. One of my favorite medical providers is over there, Dr. Kristen Burris and her husband, Tony. Mm -hmm. yep. They do uh, acupuncture, acupuncture over there. Right. Love it. It they, really does work. I'm told it works it does. really, really well. I don't necessarily like being stuck, but you can't feel it. Um, hey, so then you certainly have ha learned a lot over the course of life. But if you could well, sum up what you <laughs> right, <laughs> if you could su if you could sum up what you feel like you've learned as just in your period of uh, your terms of being mayor, what what do you think the lessons? Patience. Pa oh, patience. What, patience. what is that? I have a lot of trouble. <laughs> really? I'm not sure what it is you're talking I know, about. I know. Right? I have that problem as well. 
uh, because if, of anything I've lacked in my life as a kind of a driver, it's, it's lacking patience. But I've, uh, I've discovered that things will, you know, if you trust in the Lord, things will, will work their way out and, and work, you know, just, just kind of follow and do what he tells you to do and, mm -hmm. and things really kind of work out. And you found that that's one of the lessons that you've learned oh, being mayor. Absolutely. Is uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't have, you know, I've, I've not had a lot of patience and to work with a new council as they're adjusting to their roles and, and, uh, and trying a lot of things. I love their, their passion, but, but they need to learn how to, how to work together. And I think they're learning that and I'm, I'm encouraged by that. And I haven't done anything. I've just kind of watched and encouraged. Okay. Well, I think that is really important. My mom always used to tell me that patience is a virtue. And then she went on to say that virtue is a grace. You put them all together and you have a very pretty face. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Mom. But you didn't learn the meaning of the word. Uh, patience? Yes. No, it's a horrible P word, and I'm not sure I, I have not. People keep telling me to behave, and mm. as soon as I figure out what have is, yeah. then I will do that as well. Okay. So I'm working, trying. It's a daily process for me. Hey, hey right so here. you've got a really interesting fundraiser coming up here in Eagle, to which Treasure Valley View is going to be down and be ah, a part of. Yeah, and you roast. agreed that you would come down and sample sure. them with us. What is that? Did I say I would sample them you, with you? You did. Did I commit to that? Uh, Hmm. Right, Jan, Jan, she, she saw you. Is that you. true? I committed. She okay, did. well, maybe a small taste. I'm, I'm in for a small taste. Once, <laughs> I'll try anything once. Yeah. So tell us all about that real quick. Well, it's been traditionally, actually, the Eagle Fun Days came out of this oyster roast, which has been going on since the 50s. Wow. It what used to be quite a rowdy affair. I mean, they would. Uh, uh, there, there was one event where they, I think they, after they consumed something like uh, maybe 125 kegs of beer oh. and sandwiches, if you can imagine, violence broke out. What, weird. That's <laughs> hard, really weird how that would imagine. break out. Uh, but anyway, it's calmed down significantly since then. So it's been going on since the 50s, and it's been one of those events that attracts people from all over the valley. And it's now uh, going to be in July rather than in, in traditionally in June as it has been. So that is so Saturday the 14th. Saturday We're going 14th, to come down if you want to see. The fire department will be putting it on. It's the a big Treasure Valley right View and yep. the mayor get down on some Rocky Mountain oysters. Wow. You come down and see, he said he would. <laughs> and you saw him on live TV. He said it too. Well, um, thank you very much, Mayor, for joining My us pleasure. today. If there is any, where can people send you a little love note if they want to say you look fabulous on TV or maybe even help you and offer some support? Just send uh, an email to jreynolds at cityofeagle.org. Wonderful. Thanks Good. so much for joining us today. Thanks. We Enjoyed appreciate it. it. Great meeting you. Thank you, Treasure Valley View. The mayor was here.